You know, I often used to say to people, if you ever want evidence of God, look to Chris Chenoweth and Positive Christianity. And what happened? You know, we go to two million people a day. And, and that's not bragging. I could have never done it. Uh, I didn't know how to do it. But God did. God went ahead of me and prepared the way and took me that way, sometimes struggling and arguing within myself, is this the right way? Well, my whole point is going to so many people, we deal with so many prayer requests on a daily basis. So many of those prayer requests are people that are going through the grief of a loved one, the loss. And it is something that we try to reassure them about that life continues. It is not just in the body. If there was a defining thing of this ministry, I would say it's a soul ministry. It talks about the life of the soul uh, and the vitality of the soul and that the soul lives through the body gives the body life and sometimes the body just gets used up and sometimes the ultimate healing is to go beyond that body and have full life again it says in john 6 verses 47 and 48 truly truly now when jesus says this this is old language for Listen, what I'm going to say is really important. He said, are you listening? Because this is important and this is meaningful for you. He says, truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes, listen to this, has eternal life. And then he says, I am the bread of life. Life does not come from the body. Life emanates from God. The body without God is nothing. It's like at night. When I lay my coat jacket aside, it, it lies lifeless on the table. A moment before, I gave it life. Movement. I filled it. It looked like me. Moved like me. But now, it is laid aside. When we experience grief over the passing of a loved one, we can hold to the absolute truth of eternal life. Now it's natural to feel the loss, the pain, when a loved one passes from our own physical realm. And yet we find great good in the knowledge that life is eternal and that God is the source of all life. As we turn to God for comfort, we are assured of the eternal flow of divine life in all creation. God is spirit. God is life. God's spirit within us confirms the eternal nature of divine life. As we thank God for eternal life, we acknowledge God as the presence of life within us and within all those that we love. We are comforted by the abiding presence of God's eternal life and we bless our loved ones. Ongoing life in God. One of, one of my favorite 
things to say is that death is not a period. It is just a comma in the continuing journey of our lives. Well, I pray today, in some way, you are comforted, not so much by this message, but directly by God. For you absolutely know, truly, truly, I say to you, he who believes has eternal life. Well, for you, still living in body, if you believe, you have that inside of you that knows for yourself and others that life does not end when the body ends, that there is eternal life, and that you are literally feeding from the bread of life in that knowledge.